Hello, welcome to Floyd Models Get Review Time. Today we've got something really different. I know I often say that, but this is. Now, you're going to have to be of a certain age uh, or a real film buff or a sci fi fan to appreciate really what we've got here today. So, Mobius, and let's face it, they are pretty much the sci fi people to go for. If you want anything sort of sci fi related, especially the quirky stuff, that's where you want to be looking. I've been working on this particular project, I know, for some time. I've been following it quite closely over the last few years and was really excited when this one was first announced because you can buy actually the uh, Discovery uh, XD1 ship as a garage kit or a garage kit, uh, which is made of resin. It's huge, it's very heavy, it's very big, okay? But for an injection molded one to come along, I don't know, because of its shape and its design and everything else like that, I really thought perhaps we would never see one. Then Mobius started making waves about developments and then we saw a little bit of test shotting and various things and a lot being spoken about it on the internet. And then it went a little bit quiet and then it sort of came back again. And then about a year ago, they were saying they were going into tooling. So I got quite excited thinking, you know, tooling is not going to be long. Then we had to wait another year. And then finally, it's arrived. So actually what we got down here is from 2001, A Space Odyssey. We've got the Discovery, or better known as HAL, <laughs> inside, okay? This particular ship is a monster. It's one of those ones that is really difficult to do and build because of its scale. It's extremely long like three foot long, okay? But it's not that big. It's like a, a golf ball uh, with a long load of stacks behind it. And then you've got the engines at the back or the nuclear reactors. But if you're a sci-fi buff, it doesn't matter because what you've got down here is a discovery from 2001 a Space Odyssey. Absolutely fantastic. We've seen other ships from the actual uh, film released by Mobius as well and things like that, but we've never actually had the discovery itself. So as you can see, quite excited about this one. So looking down at the box, it is... Not as big as you would think, especially when you look at the price tag, around about 250 to 280 pounds, depending where you're getting it from. Um, so, you know, when you think about that, you think it'll be a huge box. No, it's not. It's actually quite a small box in the great scheme of things. But anyway, if we have a look around, so your scale for this one, it's a one to 144. So again, you'd be thinking quite small. Again, it isn't as big as you think, but it's really, really long, okay? So looking around the box, as we can see just down here, so your kit number is 2001-2001-3, okay? So just to give you an idea, as you can see, down on there, and then on the back, we've got some information about it. So as you can see, it's 41 inches long incredible and as you can see we've got the ball at the front we've got the reactor at the back and we've got the communications array and then we have all the, the units that link it all together okay so we've got some various things down in here and obviously we actually got the parts as you can see down in here just like that now this is a brand new sealed and it is for me as i say i've been waiting for this particular kit for so long it's one of those ones where when you're thinking okay is it here is, you know, am, is it going to live up to expectations? Is it going to be good? Again, join me and we will see together. So, undoing the box. Now, obviously, I'm not going to say I haven't seen anything down in here. There's a couple of the guys who've been working on this one on the Flory Models Forum already. Uh, so, I have had a bit of an insight. This is the first time I've seen it. And everybody did say to me, I'm amazed the way it's packed. And that does make sense. Because, as you can see, we have down here a extremely stuffed box full of stuff <laughs> literally uh, right okay so let's have a look at the instructions so no doubt this will be um, Mobius is pretty much standard instructions as you can see box art on the front a few things about building and painting and then going straight down into it so if you never built one of their kits before what they intend to do is you have obviously the parts showing it go together and it talks you through the build itself which is actually quite a nice touch okay so we're working up actually the main uh, living quarters if you like of the ship up the front here okay so we've actually got the parts we've got clear window slits going down in there which is a nice touch and framing work we've actually got the um the pod doors okay so you've got the three uh sort of pods down there as well only in the closed position we don't have an option for open okay then we've got the two halves and the back piece going together then we've got the collar section or they're calling it the neck okay as that's being joined all together on there just like that then it's straight back to the propulsion unit or the nuclear reactor at the back. So we've got the two halves of it going down together and then the plating on the outside. Loads of detailing and various things going down on there. And again, the collar or the neck system for the rear part going through. And then, as you might imagine, you've got all the pods in between, of which there's going to be lots of them, I should think. So we've got thrusters just for the back. So we've got those three thrusters down at the back. And then we're assuming lots and lots of pods 
lots of mods going together. We actual modules uh, down in there. So we've got all the different ones talking about it going down in there as it goes right the way through. Then we've got the communications array or the antenna array just going down in there like that. Okay, and then we've obviously got the metal rod centers because a quite clever one on this is how it's all going to go together. So it does have metal rods to hold this all together as you might see. And then we've got a stand, which obviously is going to need a stand. So we've got a head section, a mid section, and an actual end section for it to all go in there like that. And then putting it all together. So as you can see, this is how it works. You've got the head, then you've got the rod, then you have to slide down all the actual module supports going down onto it. Okay, then you're going to do the same for the other end with the actual units at the back then you've actually got all the modules being put onto them and as I say you've got different ones it's color coded to make it nice and simple so you know which is your left right mids uh, and unders and things like that so those are being put down on there and then you have the stand running down the bottom and there we go so we've got a little bit of a call out about the actual pay uh, about the color scheme and everything else changing the depth quite a nice little thing about painting it and how to paint it and everything else now again it's caused a little bit of talk shall we say between myself and a few other people about our opinions on this because obviously it's actually saying um a suitable gray not suitable for gray panels and various things and I think it's artistic license. At the end of the day, if you're gonna go exactly the same as the real thing, then that's gonna be different because it's that screen effect. Don't forget, this was done you know, many, many years ago, decades ago, lighting systems were different, camera filming was different, filming was different. So I would personally, and when I do mine, it's gonna be a lot of artistic license on it because I want it to have a better scale effect. So I'm gonna be going through different shades of grays and whites and various things to give that overall effect, like we can see down in here, just to break it up. Otherwise, it's gonna Look like a football sat well a bit bigger softball sat on the end of something so uh we'll start with the head unit so what they've actually done then this is how it's injection molded and to get it out they've done it in two halves like this okay so let's start with the bit everybody looks at to start with we can see the front okay so this is the actual uh window the main area there as you can see. Now, if you're over looking at Mobius, the way I describe it is, my God, it's full of flash. Okay, because they do tend to be a little bit flashy, a little bit chunky. You can probably see here on the actual plastic, but it is the, it's the hard type of plastic. So it's quite easy to work with, rescribe and take care of it and redetail and stuff like that. But it does tend to have that sort of almost flash hard plastic. It's not like your standard kits and things like that. Okay, but the detail, although again, it's not the sharpest detail, it is all here. Okay, so as you can see, you've got a nice mixture of raised and recessed details right the way through. We're assuming this is 100% screen accurate because obviously it is a licensed product um, and everything. So the studio would have been happy or have to be happy to release it. But as you can see, that's pretty nice. Then we've got the underside. So we've actually got the pod doors down on there like that. And then obviously we've got the other parts running right the way around the outside and then down and under and then as again this is what i mean by it. it's not as big as you think that's the the entire front head section done just like that the big difference is though this thing then goes 40 odd inches that way uh, and that's the difference with it okay but there we go that gives you an idea of how that's going to be again it's one of those things it's not as detailed perhaps as i would like and as sharp as i'd like and everything else but it's a good starting point most mobius kits i'd work the same way brilliant they've got the shape everything's accurate and then you can add detail to it so let's uh i'm trying to do this somewhat in order so let's do the next and the various things around the rear Everyone's always told me that you will never get this back in the box once you've opened it. It's the thing with this particular kit. So, now I see what they've done. These are those interconnecting. You have to be a little bit careful how you get these out. Okay, so let's go this way. So down here, we can see the back, uh, actually, of the, the head unit. I'm going to call it the head unit. Okay, as you can see, it's quite nicely detailed. No problems with that at all. That's actually not looking too bad. And then we've got other units again. And again, it's just this thing. They are always just a little bit. Their sprue gates are a little bit, yeah. And the way they link is very heavy, sometimes softly done and stuff like that. But again, it's things that are all can be worked and no problem. Over here on the other side, you can see we've got nice details down in here. We've got other units. This is the 
this guy just here is actually the stand. It's actually for the head, so it's a nice um, curved area, so the head will fit in there quite nicely. And then we've actually got the back of the head unit with the, the neck and the thrusters on there. And then the other areas, as you can see, nicely detailed right the way through. And again, we're hoping it's all screen accurate because again, it's a licensed product, so somebody would have to sign it off to make sure it's correct. And then watching the the build of this, or the come together of the kit, they were determined to get it really, really screen accurate. Okay, so um, down on here, I don't know the best way to do this, I think it'd probably be easier to run here. We've got the more stand parts, and then obviously we've got the communications array. Doesn't look too bad at all. We've got the other areas, communications bits, pieces, necks, things like that. On the other side, as you can see, more of these areas right the way through. No problem with any of those. Again, no sign of sink marks, which is really nice. Uh, some of this plastic sometimes lends itself to sink marks, but I haven't seen any whatsoever. That all looks pretty good and standard. Okay, so down to the, the business end. This is the engines down the back. Okay, as you can see, big clunky stuff. Uh, no problem at all, good detail right the way through and actually it's pretty sharp stuff that's going to take washes and dry brushing and uh, picking out panels no problem at all and then up here with some of the smaller stuff again really nicely done no problem with that at all then we've got a match pair Are they, do they do them as a match pair just top and bottom they're just copies of each other that was a cop out from the studio wasn't it how to make it so obviously they just copied one to the bottom so we've got two exactly the same match pairs which, to be honest, was probably the way to do it. And we're going to have another couple of match pairs. So you can see on this one, really very nice indeed. And good level of detail down on these parts, right the way through. And again, all they're doing is doing one, then mirroring it over, then so forth and so on, and copying it around the entire ship, which we're going to see a lot at, no doubt, in a moment. Okay, so again, really nice details. And then you say on the blind side, big, chunky. Again, just make sure you take care of any rays. There's little bits of rays flash and various things on these. Make sure you get rid of all of that. So when you are sandwiching and laminating things together, it's a good clean fit. That is running around very softly. I'm surprised that that's just put in there like that. I'm hoping. We'll look at that in a moment. So, steel, hollow, uh, metal bars as you can see down in there. So you've got the various sections. So you've got the sensor that you're going to go into each other I thought they screwed in but they don't they just push in to push in fit So just make sure you're in centers uh, before you go in with the push-ins with them But you obviously you've got the center section here in the middle just like this one Then you've got the two long bars and the three other shorter ones or in different lengths are obviously for the actual stand to hold it up Okay, then we assume we have we just get these are going to be going to be match pairs because obviously it's that's what they've done with this particular one okay so we can sort of come with one and then so three stand bases just down on here like this so we've got the engines the various things again nice level of detail nice clean crisp sharp I think it's going to take washes really well just to highlight and detail these things. The engines themselves, no problem at all. And then obviously we're going to laminate the sides on them. But as you can see on them here, they're very good detail. I know it's a little bit of a pain doing this on white on white, but we don't really have an option, unfortunately. Uh, but as you can see, really nice detail. Love this detail in here with these veining systems, things like that. Pod doors, no option to have one open or anything else like that, unfortunately. It's going to be in the closed. That said, there is aftermarket resin available for this one. Um, where, if you want to spend, to be honest, quite a bit of money. They're not cheap, but if you're going to make one of these and it's a one-off investment, then fair enough. Um, there is a photo etch where you can actually have a photo etch uh, with the door open in there. And you can do the flight deck as well. Again, I don't know. It's a lot of money for that. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to be all in mind just closed up and done like this. But if you did want it open, there's a lighting kit as well you can get for this particular kit. Various things for it. So, interesting times ahead. Now, these are the cargo modules that run all the way down. There's multiples of these. We've actually got four, five sprues, six sprues of these that are going to make up the actual, all the little 
ones running right the way through okay so as you can see I'm probably going to go down this side you've got the internals which are all going to lock to which is fair enough no problem at all then you've got all the parts making up these pods right the way through again it's going to be a case of just taking your time working through them one after the other uh, I don't know how many it's, this thing's got a lot <laughs> lots and lots of them so yes going to be a lot of fun putting all of that together but it should be okay once it's all done I'm just looking around I have to say looking at the kit I was looking at pictures of it before and thinking I'm not impressed now I'm seeing it up close some of these details is very very nice one of the things like this area is just down in here you can see this detail that's actually very nice very sharp very crisp no problem at all I have to say this is probably one of Mobius's best kits I've seen the big thing you're going to have to watch though is obviously things like ejector pins they are a little bit flash happy um, so make sure you've got them cleaned up dry fit everything before you commit to using glue things like that and you should have no problems working through your in build like that one okay so last up the clear part I'm not going to worry about getting this out it's amazed it's made it through in one piece as you can probably see it doesn't look too bad at all it's going to be clear but the thing is, there's nothing really to back it up behind. You haven't got a flight deck down there or anything to see in there. But in this scale, really, are you going to notice it? I think what would be quite nice, as I say, if you have the blue or you have the red. So you've got the howl glow to it and things like that. I think it would be a very nice touch. Lighting set down back for the engines as well. I think that would be a very nice touch as well. And if you were thinking about doing the pods and various things, then you could do it like that. I'm surprised we haven't seen a figure. I thought we might just get in scale little figures. And I'm surprised we haven't got a pod either. But apparently we don't actually have the pod either, which again... Would have been a nice touch uh, i think they missed the boat with that one but uh at the end of the day it's one of those ones we have now got a 144 scale uh discovery xd1 which i never thought would actually probably see the light of day so i am quite excited about this one so if you want to see me build this one keep up with flooring models updates and things like that i am going to be building it in the very near future purely because again it's one of those kits i've just always wanted to do uh, and then well, that way we can do a come back come back with a little bit of an aftermarket report and see exactly how it went together but for now that is the mobius 144 2001 a space odyssey's discovery xd1